So today I'm going to be unboxing this tech wholesale box from the company Restock and I'm going to show you everything that's in here. This is very outside of the norm for me so I'm super excited to see what's inside. Stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I'm a part-time reseller, primarily of fashion. So primarily I sell things like clothes, shoes, accessories, and this is definitely outside of the box for me. But I had this company Restock reach out and ask if I would do an unboxing of one of their wholesale boxes on my channel so that you could see what kind of stuff I get. And I was very intrigued, mainly because I know nothing about tech stuff. I know nothing about what stuff is worth picking up. I do every once in a while like wander down different aisles when I'm at the thrift store you know things that aren't just clothes but I'll go down like yeah like the CD like player collect or you know that area or like I'll look for um VCR DVD combos because I know that that's a thing that people say makes a lot of money but the truth is I just I don't know what I'm doing and a lot of times you know you and I both know that at thrift stores they are starting to mark up a lot of different things and I don't want to pay $30, $40 if I'm not sure if the thing that I'm looking at is worth it if I don't know how to test it all that kind of stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read for you what I was told about this company tell you a little bit about my experience so far and then we'll open it up and see what in here together so um all of my communication with this company has been with someone named Andrew and he's been really great, really great at um, you know communicating with me, very timely in his responses, all that kind of stuff. So he is one of the founders of Restock and he said that Restock is a logistics tech startup that sells Amazon unsold items. So they have a you know connection, a tie with Amazon. Um, and he said um, there's at least $350 worth of items in the box. The box itself retails for $125, so that's how much you can expect to pay for a box like this with free shipping. So because I am partnering with them in this video to show you what's in here, I do have an affiliate code that if you like what you see, you can definitely use this so that you can get 20% off of your first order and you'll get $10 when you sign up for the first time. So it's $10 off plus you get 20% off. That's a pretty good chunk of that, you know, $125 that you're saving. So if you were interested in trying it out, I will have um, all of that information down below but the code is just becky20 so if you're interested like i said i'll have all of that link down below i'm excited to see what's in here and you know i'll do even like thread up rescue boxes i've gotten wholesale boxes from a couple different companies i've never done like the joe mars or the cosize you know ones that i know a lot of people do but one thing i like about doing you know rescue boxes or wholesale boxes is that you know things will show up at your house and they're already there so you may as well do the research on them and I have learned a lot about different brands because I've gotten them in mystery boxes or in rescue boxes for example I didn't know the brand Filson until I pulled a piece out of a men's thread up rescue box and only then that I you know take the time to research it and realize man this is worth a good amount of money um, I discovered the brand Flat Apartment, their shoe brand, the same way because they were in a shoe rescue box. I learned about brands like Nolita and just a bunch of others because of, you know, getting these things sent to my home. Obviously, there are some duds. There are some things that you're like, well, this is not going to make me any money. But it's a lot of fun just kind of doing that research, learning more about different you know, sectors of reselling. And this is, like I said, going to be quite the stretch for me. I'm probably not going to be able to give you a lot of really good information regarding what I have in my possession because I just don't know a lot about electronics. So let's break into this box, see what's in here. And if you enjoy, you know, unboxings like this or just reselling content in general, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you do get alerted every time I upload new content. And if you're excited to see what's in here, hit that like button. Let's dig in. So this is a tall box. I don't know how, how heavy it is. Yeah, I don't see like a weight anywhere. I'm sure if I looked harder, I could find it. Um, the box was pretty well packaged. I wasn't afraid that things were going to break or anything. You know, I, it came to me in good condition. Um, again, they're promising $350 worth of stuff in here. They don't promise like a certain number of items. So already this thing at the very top is pretty big. 
This says BBL sleeping pillows. I, I don't know what that means. Let's let's dig a little bit deeper. I've never heard of this before. Um, it's by the brand Sauchivis. Sauchivis. I don't know. This is, I, this I think is like the company. Um, but it is. Simple Living, Flourishing Leaves. I think that's like the print. I, I just don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, okay. It's a sleeping pillow. So, wow. I'm going to show you the back. There's like a little diagram. Not diagram. But something that shows you like how you can use it. I guess it's for people maybe who like sleep on their sides or sleep, I don't know, it's just supposed to help you sleep better. You guys, I can't even make this up, but this is a pillow that you're supposed to use after you have surgery if you get a Brazilian butt lift. I, I mean, there is something for everybody and there's a buyer for everything. So if you recently got a Brazilian butt lift and need a pillow so you can sleep on your side comfortably, I got you. Very interesting. Um, obviously, I know nothing about how something like this does, but I will do some research. I'm not super sure how that's like tech related. Um, I feel like it said tech stuff, but maybe not everything in here is tech stuff and it's just random Amazon returns and that's cool too. Let's see what's next. Okay, so this looks like blankets. These are flannel blankets and they're an ivory made in China. I don't know if this is the brand Lomao. I don't know. And I'm, I don't want to like open it because this has been like packaged, you know, but, um, you can see like it's a fleece blanket in there. It's like wrapped with a ribbon. Yeah. There's no prices on here either. So I'm wondering if a lot of these things are things that were just like made in China, like Alibaba type stuff. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. This looks like it is an iPad case, heavy duty rugged case. The company or the brand is Zenric. Um, yeah. So, oh, okay. So it's for an iPad mini, uh, generation one, two or three. And there's like a little thing here so you can hold it in your hand. Um, it looks like, I mean, there's like pictures of people riding bikes or I don't know, but it's just like a heavy duty case. I suspect something like this would sell for maybe like 10, $15. I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't even have guesses on prices for things like these pillows and stuff. Um, okay. Some of these things are heavy. So I need two hands. Fun. Okay. So this is a dartboard. <laughs> this is snipers, aim pro Wimlet's dartboard and it has staple free bladed wires, self healing surface, fun. I wonder if this is something that like has been used. Like you can see that the top has been messed with a little bit and you can see like someone just took like clear tape and taped it shut. Um, so I'm sure like all the pieces are in there. I would probably double check though. It is also like a little dusty. I don't know. So again, I think it'll be really easy to just like look it up, see how much it's worth. I probably obviously would have to sell it for less because of the fact that I'm pretty sure it's been opened, but that's okay. All right, let's see what's next. These, oh, these are great. So these are kind of like uh, magnet tiles. It looks like it's maybe like a generic brand. The brand is Monvi Magnetic Building Blocks Toys, the best children's educational toy. So yeah, if you've ever seen like magnet tiles, that's essentially what this is. It seems like a really small case of them. And it doesn't say like how many pieces are in here, I don't think. Oh, 40 piece. Okay. I feel like my kids could actually play with these. I might put these off to the side and see if they're interested. Part of me wonders, although I feel like I already know the answer to this, part of me wonders if you were an Amazon seller, if you could send this stuff into Amazon, but I feel like these are by like private sellers or like, um, you know, these are things sold specifically by specific companies, brands, like selling their own products. So I don't know if you would be able to. Um, it's probably all, for the most part, eBay type stuff. This is a ball light up it lights up led light 
battery. Okay, so you like need that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. LED light batteries. Sure. So it, it is like a basketball shaped thing, but it sounds like it lights up, which I guess is cool. I don't really know what it does, but okay. Uh -uh. This is a pair of headphones. They are fast charging. So if you charge them for 10 minutes, you can use them for 90 minutes. They have Bluetooth, active noise canceling. I'm very tempted to just keep these for my kids, <laughs> but I also don't love that you have to like charge them. I wonder if you could just keep them plugged in. Like I wonder if you have to use Bluetooth or if you can just plug them into the headphone jack. This one is brand new. It has not been opened, although the box is not in perfect condition which for my sake of selling on eBay, I don't care. I don't really understand like what the brand is. There's not necessarily, you know, like Sony or Beats, like it doesn't say anything like that. MPOW maybe, M-P-O-W, I think that's what it is. Interesting. Mm, yeah, okay. Don't know how much something like that would go for. This is a smart wake up light alarm clock. <sighs> I think my son's going to want this. He's been asking for an alarm clock, so I might see if he wants this. I think this one, oh, you can do voice control with Alexa. I don't want to say her name because I have one in here and she's going to be like, what do you want? And I, I don't want you. I don't want to talk to you. But um, it has like a light that comes on that kind of like gently wakes you up because it's, it, you know, it simulates the sunrise. That's really cool. And you can use the FM radio. It also works with Google Assistant. Very cool. Okay, so I might have to see if my son wants that. Um, okay, there's this big one. Oh, okay. So this is by the brand or the company Hansong. Hansong, I'm not sure. That's Hollywood Makeup Mirror. I'm going to hide this from my daughter because basically last week she like turned into a teenager. She's not even nine years old yet, but like she decided like she's a teenager. So I feel like if she saw this, she'd be like me, I want it. But it's a nine bulb mirror. It is a free compact magnifier. It sounds very intense. I, again, I don't think it's been open, but there is a lot of tape like around the boxes. So I don't know. And yeah, I mean, my goal will be as I'm editing this to kind of give you information here about how much things we're selling for on Amazon. And then hopefully what I can get for those same things on like eBay or something like that. This, oh, wow. This is really cool. Okay. So this is a hydrogen water bottle. I don't even really know what that means. Let's see. It says the top 10 health benefits of hydrogen water. What is hydrogen water? Reduce fatigue and boost vitality, remedy for allergies, promote cardiovascular and cerebrovascular health, antioxidant improving metabolism. Okay, I don't, I don't understand. Is it like different water? Does it like do something different to your water? Let's open this and see. I've never even heard of anything like this. Whoa, you like plug it in. I want to do more research. I don't understand. I don't understand how like water can be different from water. Very interesting. Also, I don't love, I mean, I'm sure maybe you could find, I, I don't know the names. I'm telling you, I'm not super tech savvy, but you know how like you can plug these things into like a block and then plug it into the wall. But like this on the instructions, it shows this water bottle being plugged into like a keyboard like into a computer, which that doesn't feel, you know, safe to me because what if the water bottle falls over? I have no idea what this is. I'm going to do some research and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you because I think you and I both need to know a little bit more about hydrogen water and what it is. And if we actually need it, because I feel like a lot of what's happening in not medicine, I don't want to say medicine, but like in the field of wellness is there's a lot of people making up stuff that, you know, they say you need this and that, but you don't actually. I know you were hoping I would do a deep dive on hydrogen water, so here it is. Hydrogen water is regular water with hydrogen gas added to it. Um, apparently, it's supposed to increase anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Um, it's supposed to increase energy in people, slow down the aging process, improve muscle recovery after a workout, bada-bing, bada-boom, but... 
current research into the health benefits of hydrogen water is limited. This is according to WebMD, so do with this information what you will, but I just thought that was interesting. Ooh, okay, I kinda wanna keep this. I don't know if this is any good, but it is a knife set, and you guys, we could use knives. So, okay, I think <laughs> calling this a tech box is a little misleading because while a lot of this stuff is techy, um, and like, you know, has to be plugged in or charged or whatever. The blankets and pillows, like definitely not. Um, this knife set, definitely not. But I mean, I feel like this is a good thing. You know, I don't know anything about this brand, but it is stainless steel. It's non stick coating. Um, we really could use new knives. So I'm going to put this off to the side as well. There's a lot of stuff off to the side for me and my husband. Um, this is Yanovate 2-in-1 Ultra Sweat Waist and Thigh Trimmer. Very interesting. Also made in China. Let's see what this looks like. I It does not sound very appealing or comfortable. So I'm assuming you literally just put this around your waist and it's supposed to help you lose weight in the waist and thigh. I don't know how it does it. And there's not, let's see. And it looks like it does it by like, cause it's called ultra sweat waist and thigh trimmer. So it looks like it helps you lose weight in those areas of your body by making you sweat a lot. But I feel like that would be so unpleasant. You guys, I'm just learning so much right now. There's just so many products on the market that I didn't even know existed. Oh, I hope I can close this up. Okay, let's see. Now there's no like instructions or anything so you would just have to figure it out which I guess it seems pretty self-explanatory how you use something like this um, there is a QR code on the back so maybe you just scan that and then it has the instructions for you they're just trying to save paper oh okay so UB size they make things like tripods and stuff and y'all I could actually use a tripod <laughs> This is not good. I'm not even going to sell half of this stuff because I'm just going to keep it for myself. And I guess that's one of the things that could happen to you if you were to get a box like this. Like, you could open it and be like, oh, I needed that stuff. And you, you'd get it at a fairly, you know, discounted price. Let's see if this is a tripod. So it's in like a nice little sturdy bag with a handle, which is really nice. It is. It's a tripod. Professional video tripod user manual. So right now I've got my camera on this little rinky dink. It's not rinky dink, um, but it's like smaller. It's a Joby tripod. Um, but yeah, UB size. It's not like the greatest brand in the world, but I've definitely heard of it. I think I actually have, oh, my, <laughs> my, um, I have a little ring light right next to me. That's by the same brand, UB size. <sighs> I don't think I like need, well, you guys, I'm probably going to hold on to this. I'm not even going to lie to you. So there is some really good stuff in here. I will obviously still find out how much this is priced at to give you an idea of how much I could get for it if I were to sell it. But just so many goodies that I am pretty excited about for my own use. Okay, this is not wrapped super well. What are you? Um... The only thing I can understand is that this is made in China. There is a QR code. Ow! I just busted my... Okay. Let's, let's see if this tells us anything. A few moments later. Okay, so the QR code did not help with anything. I have, n I have no idea what this is. So there is a little thing down here to put batteries in. Um, it looks like it requires two, it looks like AAA batteries and it like turns on, there's like a little switch to turn it on, but what does it do? I don't know. Does it like blow up your house? Does it shoot out mist? Are you supposed to put water in here? Let's see. This top looks like it screws off. I just, I don't know what this is and there's no... There's no manifest from what I can tell. 
so this might be a bust. I don't, I have no idea what this is. So you might get stuff like this <laughs> where you're just like, what the, okay. Have that one will be put in there. I don't know. Maybe I can't even see like Google lens really helping. This QR code really was my only hope because I don't see, yeah, there's nothing anywhere else on the box. So I don't know what that is. Okay. Next up, we have a mechanical keyboard by a Chinese brand. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's see what it is. Wow. 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 This is really cool. Okay. I have no use for this, but I want it. Like... Wow, okay. I wonder if it's super annoying, but wow. Whoa. Look how cool. It's like a typewriter, but it's a keyboard. I'm kind of obsessed. I'm kind of obsessed. This is really cool. Um, so it's got just a USB to plug it into your computer. I bet you could use this with like an iPad or something, which would be really, really cool. I love that it has a number uh, pad here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wow. I want it. What would I even use it for? And then there's like a dial here, and I wonder if the dial is to like raise or lower the intensity of like the clicking. I wonder if there's lights. Oh, this is not what I was expecting, but I couldn't have even guessed that something this cool would have been in this box. I thought it was going to be one of those MIDI keyboards, like what you use um, if you are, you know, like producing music or something and you use a, a MIDI keyboard that again has a USB cable like this and you plug it into your computer and that way you can basically like play a little keyboard to make music versus having to use your mouse. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, that's going in my pile. <laughs> oh, wow. This is my favorite thing by far, for sure. And you know, obviously like the cool but also sad thing about these kinds of um, unboxing videos is that I might get a box filled with the things that I have and when you get a box you might not get a single thing that I got you know you could get completely different things I'll tell you one thing that I'm really impressed with so far though is that it's been one of each kind of thing I'm glad that I didn't get a box of just like one skew but like 50 of that skew or something like that just because then like for me it defeats the purpose of why I get a box you know I get it to like get a variety of things and learn about a lot of different things. Um, and if I just got like three or four different SKUs, I'd be really sad. Um, so I do like that. Okay, there's just a couple things left in here. This is a three-in-one fast charger, which again, I actually really could use because my nightstand is so cluttered right now. Okay, this is basically just like a commercial for Amazon of like things that you can buy on Amazon that you didn't know you needed, including this. Like, I literally have all three of these things on my nightstand that need to get charged on a daily basis, but they each, oh, Lord have mercy, but they each have their own plug, their own little cable, and it's just really messy looking. <laughs> this is so nice, and you could take this on vacation and not have all of these plugs because my pile is almost as big as the pile of stuff that I'm going to try to sell. Like, what in the world? Okay, last thing in the box. It's a big one. Oof, this was a tall box, so it's hard for me to get in and out of. Um, enjoy your comfort zone. The rewards are worth it. That doesn't tell me what it is. Okay, so it says Queen. It says New York. It says Certa Pure US. I still don't know what it is. And, okay, let's see. It's a sponge pillow. So lots of pillows, but this one, okay, it's got a machine washable cover, knitted breathable fabric, 
um, insect protection, although protection is spelled wrong, <laughs> comfortable rebound by second. That is something that drives me crazy is when like, you know, okay, so look right here. This is where it says insect. You can see it, it is spelled wrong. The word protection, that kind of stuff really drives me crazy. But, um, I'm trying to figure out like what the brand is. Maybe it's New York. Woom. You think it's this? It's like this W and then O O and then this anchor O M. <laughs> Woom. Woo anchor um. I don't know. I could try using Google Lens and see if that helps, but I don't know. I've never seen that before. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it's techy. I don't think that it really is, but I think we've already established the fact that not everything in these boxes have to be tech related. So that is everything that was in here. They're saying that these things should collectively be able to sell for $350. Um, and again, your price for this box is $125. But if you use my coupon code or my affiliate code, the code is Becky20 and you save 20% plus you get $10 when you sign up using my link. So lots of really great reasons to try it out if you like the kinds of things that you saw. I hopefully in the editing process put in you know prices or maybe even listings on Amazon to show you how much these things are going for on Amazon but man I don't know if I'll make $350 because I want to keep a lot of what I see here so we'll see but um, still a lot of stuff in this pile too of things that can go I think it's really cool I'm very impressed and um, excited to kind of play around with some of these things, show my husband and kids and see if there's anything that they want. So if you like having a blend of things that, you know, you want to keep for yourself from these mystery boxes, plus things that you can sell, this might be a really cool option. Again, the company is Restock. They are relatively new and it seems like they're sourcing from Amazon. Uh, maybe it's Amazon returns, things of that nature and building these wholesale resale boxes for resellers. And so this is my one and only experience with them. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm excited to learn about all these products. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.